Recently, Cherry Team's full decoration of Cosmos was officially premiered over several channels, including Trick, Cursed, Lord Vadercraft, and FMNO4. The level is set to be verified by Dolphy and is possibly currently sort of top 1 difficulty, but will probably get nerfed. Of course, assuming Dolphy even logs into the game over the next 6 months. So today, I'm going to give my thoughts on how, while I do think that Cosmos is the best Slaughterhouse remake, I'm not necessarily sure if that makes it a good level. So starting off, Cherry Team usually makes some very good levels in my opinion. Their decoration is pretty good in most of the projects that they've made, especially some of the more recent levels such as Mayhem. But I think some of their best decoration has actually been in Cosmos. The use of pulses, varying designs that still have consistency, and overall theming in Cosmos is really well executed. The thing is, even though Cosmos has some of the best decoration and some of the best theming, it's still completely held back by the fact that it is a Slaughterhouse remake. I see nothing wrong with decoration. The designs are well detailed but not over decorated. There is use of different colors and pulses throughout the level, and the theming is pretty consistent while the theme itself, being around space and some sort of tech side theme, is executed really well and is actually a similar to theme to my current mega club going on, Challenger. Which by the way, if you are interested in a part in Challenger and are actually competent in decoration, you can DM me with your best work and you might just get a part. However, while I think the decoration and the theming is well executed and in general has a very good premise, the gameplay is, well, shaky. Cosmos is ultimately and will always be a slaughterhouse remake. The poster child for one of the worst trends in GD history, at least in my opinion, considering that this was one of the first Slaughterhouse remakes that started it all. If Cherry Team used this same decoration and their same skills on a different level, that hypothetical level would probably be one of my favorite upcoming levels. But because the gameplay is just so incredibly unoriginal, and it seems to be just as unbalanced and unfun as Slaughterhouse is, that alone just drags down the level in so many ways, because while the decoration and theming is magnificent, the gameplay is just bad, and it's just not as original. The reason why I don't like the gameplay being severely ripped off of Slaughterhouse is because not only is it unoriginal, but it also the Slaughterhouse formula is not meant to be fun. Slaughterhouse gameplay isn't fun, it's very unbalanced. The pre-drop and the post-drop are a lot easier than what's in the middle, and it's very heavy on gameplay that just isn't going to be as fun to most people. Fast, tight wave timings and straight fly. Not to mention, you know, like the CO frame perfects in the pre-drop. Cosmos may be the best Slaughterhouse remake possible, but it's not necessarily a high bar because Slaughterhouse remakes in general are just really, really bad. If it weren't for the fact that this didn't have unoriginal, most likely unfun, and just uncreative gameplay, this level would be probably one of my favorites, but because it's a Slaughterhouse remake, I can't say it's more than like a 6 out of 10. That being said, what can possibly be done to improve this level? I personally think that the level still holds pretty much all of its glory if it's, for example, top 20, and is focused more on being a fun challenge, meaning that it would be accessible to a lot more players, and more people would want to go for it because it's a Slaughterhouse-style level that is easier and more enjoyable. I think this would mostly work because the concept of having a top one like Slaughterhouse is not going to work a second time. That's completely unoriginal and is going to come off as very uninspired and just there for attention. I think the decoration is really good, but it would be much better utilized in a level that isn't a Slaughterhouse remake, or at least just isn't as ridiculously impossible because the concept of a more fun Slaughterhouse level is a lot more original than just Slaughterhouse copy number 267. And also, I know some people will probably not like the idea of it getting nerfed because then it's not like the original Impossible Cosmos, but the original Impossible Cosmos is honestly trash, so that's not a bad thing. While the decoration and theming elevates this level to be at least decent, it is still dragged down by the fact that it is a Slaughterhouse remake. And perhaps one way to make that a little less annoying would be for it to be an easier level, maybe perhaps top 20, top 50, and have it be focused on being a more fun version of Slaughterhouse. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Cosmos. Let me know your opinions on Cosmos in the comments below. If you could be respectful of other people and their opinions in the comments below, that'd be fantastic. This is all just a $4 cube game. If you liked the video, then subscribe for more content like this with notifications on. If you like the video, like the video. However, if you just feel like being mad for no reason, you can join my Discord server. There are plenty of people on there who have the exact same mindset as you. And um, yeah, see you in the next one.